Welcome to Physics Hub. Today is 29th of December 2019, and here we are with a new set video. So it is half century of our Sunday set video series. So we are going to discuss set 50, and this set contains questions from uh, X rays. Okay, so here we will be discussing five problems from X rays. But before going to the uh, main problems, let me give you the formula set. I will just read out the formulas for you. So, wave number, wave number nu bar equals to 1 by lambda, lambda equals to h by p, photon energy equals to h nu equals to h c by lambda, then photon momentum p equals to h nu by c, lambda in nanometer equals to 1240 divided by e, e must be electron hole and we get lambda in nanometers. Uh, natural limits h cutting c equals to 1, Moseley's law for characteristics x rays nu uh, root over nu equals to a into z minus b kz is the atomic number and a and b are some constants okay basically b is called the screening uh, constant i guess for the alpha line lambda equals to 1200 by z minus 1 square it, it will be an iron strong look what the formula which i am discussing now will be utilized in the upcoming problems okay so these are these formulas are very important uh, for this set also and for other examinations also x rays absorption pi equals to i to the power minus mu x uh, then drawn hunt law for continuous x rays so two types of x rays are there continuous x ray and uh, that another one is characteristic x ray so for this continuous x ray lambda c equals to c by nu max would I see by into d equal to 1240 by d picometer? E is the electron return, g is the potential difference through the electron. Electrons have been isolated in the X ray tube. And here in this picture, you can see the configuration of the X ray tube. There, there is some filament, then cathode, then anode, and some voltage is being applied on there. And, and a potential difference is being created by which electrons are uh, being accelerated. Okay, and in this process, X rays are produced. Also, okay, wavelength emitted for characteristic X-rays X -rays can be written in you know, several forms. So, in terms of lambda 1 by lambda equals to R infinity, R infinity is read by constant taking the mass of the nucleus to be infinite. That's main, meaning or significance of R infinity into Z minus sigma square into 1 by Nf square minus 1 by Ni square. And sigma is the screening constant R is the read by constant which has constant mathematical value. Okay, and in terms of E energy, you can write it 13.6 z minus sigma whole square into 1 minus 1 by nth square minus 1 by ni square, where nth is the final state and ni is the initial state. Okay, suppose if some electron jumps from n equals to 2 to n equals to 1, then n equals to 2 is the initial ni and n equals to 1 will be nf, the n final. N is the quantum number, and this formula of energy is in electron code. Okay. So let's go to the question. Question number first. Question number one reads like this: The n to k transition of an X-ray tube containing a molybdenum z equals to 42 target occurs at a wavelength of 0 0.024 nanometer. Use this information to estimate the screening parameter of the K-cell electrons in molybdenum. Now, how to solve this question? So in the picture, you can see some one on the transition has been shown from L to K. Okay, and that produces the um, K cell electrons or K alpha radiation or X ray. So, in the transition, J equals to 42 is given, lambda is given, and therefore, from the given information, we can find out easily the energy E of ELK that is uh, from the previous formula we know 1240 divided by lambda, and that is giving 1707.07 electron fold. Now, the energy expression gives you 13.6 into z minus sigma square and that uh, thing in the parenthesis and if you put n final and nf this final quantum number is 1 and, and initial quantum number is 2 and you uh, put those values there and if you do some little calculation which I have shown explicitly in detail then you will get the value of lambda uh, sorry sigma to be 1.023 so for this k uh, electrons k cell electrons it generally comes out to be uh, approximately 1. So, another value is get, you are getting from the plus minus sign around uh, more than 80, but that is not practical. So, you have to take 1.023, that is the value of the screening constant in this case. 
Our next question is like this, question number two. In a block of cobalt or iron alloy, it is suspected that cobalt is equal to 27 is very purely mixed with iron that equals to 26. Given that the ionization energy of hydrogen is 13.6 electron volt, predict the energies of the K absorption ages of the constituents of the alloy. Okay, so this is a question. How to solve this? So it is given that in a block of cobalt iron alloy, cobalt is very poorly mixed with the iron. An ionization energy of the hydrogen is given to be 13.6 electron volt. Uh, this is an additional information. We know this from the formula. So for cobalt, Ek equals to 13.6 into J minus sigma whole square. Okay. Therefore, we get it. Uh, Ek energy is uh, 9193.6 electron volt. Therefore, we get our lambda lambda K equals to 1240 divided by 9193.6 into nanometer, and you get 1.5 angstrom. In the similar way. If you calculate it for iron, you get it 1.46 angstrom. So these are the two weapons we get from our calculation. So those two things are the answers, required answers. It's just, it's just coming from uh, our formula. Okay, let's move to the third question. If the minimum wavelength from an 80 kilovolt X-ray tube is 0.15 meters on a 10 meter. Deduce a value for Planck's constant. Okay, so how to do this? How to solve this problem? Iron, for in case of iron, EQ is 7.6 in general sigma whole square, and that is giving you 8500 volt. And from there, you can find out the value of the wavelength lambda to be 1.46 angstrom. So once you know lambda and uh, uh, lambda minimum is given, lambda k you go find out 1.4 second strong and vd is the potential difference is 80 kilovolt. Then you can easily find out um, from the expression of the energy equals to h over lambda. We can find out an expression for h that is equals to e into v into lambda divided by c. Now you know the value of v, lambda and c so we can uh, easily find out the value of Planck's constant which is equal to 6.4 and then minus 34, which we are getting. Okay, moving to the next question, question 4, that is, that is like this. When the voltage applied to an extra tube increases from 10 kV to 20 kV, the wavelength differences, wavelength difference between the K alpha line and the sort of wave cutoff of the continuous XA spectrum increases by a factor of 3. Identify the target material. Okay. So we know the uh, let the wavelength difference with the lambda, lambda, and we know the formula E equals to 13.6 J minus sigma whole square is 1 by NMU square minus 1 by NI square in electron port. And for K alpha line, E K alpha equals to 13.6 into J minus 1 whole square divided into 1 by 1, 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square in electron port. And now by doing some little calculation, we find that lambda expression is 1218 divided by J minus 1 whole square angstrom. So, for the formula purpose, for general purpose, we use 1200 divided by J minus 1 whole square. So, this is the wavelength corresponding to K alpha. Okay, so the difference between this wavelength and the sort wave cutoff wavelength is given, is to be found out for 10 kV and later with for 10, 20 kV and in the question it is given that the later one is 3 times the previous one ok so using that so first we have to calculate the sort wavelength sort wave cutter wavelength that is find out from the formula lambda equals to hc by e into d and everything is given so uh, except v so V is also given. Okay, so we just find out, we are just finding out a general formula to be fitted in. Okay, so lambda is 12420 by V and strong. And uh, we are extracting two equations from the given things. Okay, so firstly, delta lambda by putting the voltage to be 10 kilovolt 
then with 20 kilo foot and we are getting two equations and uh, from the given condition in the question delta lambda prime equals to 3 times delta lambda we are trying to find out the value of z and we are getting it as uh, 28.8 that is approximately 29 so uh, 29 in the periodic table cobalt is there sorry copper is there so the target metal is copper let's move to the last question of the set how many elements have the k alpha lines between 241 and 180 picometer okay so how to solve this particular problem so lambda equals to 1200 by j minus 1 whole square ring stone okay now we are getting a quadratic equation and uh, by solving this equation we get the value of j equals to 1 plus root over 1200 by lambda k now first we will put lambda to be 2.41 angstrom and then later on we will put the value of lambda to be 1.80 and by putting them we are getting a range of z values first we can let's see for the lowest lambda we are getting 23.31 so if you take the integer values yeah, we are getting 23 and for the last value of lambda we are getting a z value of 26.81 so the possible z values will become 23, 24, 25 and 26. So the corresponding elements are vanadium, chromium, manganese and iron. Okay, so in this set video we have tried to discuss all the five problems which we have. We have set for set 50. Irrespective of this, if you have any questions, confusion, query or questions, you can comment down below. I will try my best to answer them all. And look, I'm a human being and I try my best to provide the solutions uh, correctly for the best of my knowledge. In spite of that, if I if you find any mistake or error, please let me know. I'll try to rectify that and we'll let you know. And uh, what I can say, thanks for watching. If you are new visitor of this channel, also on the channel, do forget to press the bell icon. And, uh, See you in the next video.